Naitwa Esther Kamau, nafanya kazi na Angel Center nikiwa nani? Nimefanya kazi ya Angel Center for now inaenda form 4 years. Toka asubuhi nikiingia asubuhi kama sijarara night shift, kiingia asubuhi kwanza tunawapia unji, wanakunywa uji wakimaliza tunaenda kwa bafu wanaoga wote. Wakimaliza tunakuja sitting wanakunywa maji kwanza tunagojia chai wa relax toka hapo kama masai jaenda sana wakikunywa chai tunaenda kucheza nje na wao kama kuna mvua kuna activities zenye tunafanyaga kila siku kama monday na kuanga siku ya masaji friday siku ya kukata kucha zote miguu na mikono sasa ikifika saa saba, wanakula after Sasamba, kuna wa diaper change, tuna wa change, wanaenda kula ala wote. Toka hapo, paka saa kumi. Wakiamuka saa kumi, kwa pima tempare cha kwanza. Lazima ujue kila mtoto, hakona tempare cha gani, ya sikuwe ya megojeka, au, hakuwe na joto. Tukifanya hivo, then, wanapata kitu saa kumi. Kama ni snacks, au uji. Ikielekea 5 na dakika 10 tuna handover wenye wameshida shift tunatoka wengine sasa wanaingia usiku Tuko na watoto wenye wanaendanga shule watoto 15 Sasa hao wakikuja saa 10 kama wamefungua shule ndio tunawafanyisha homework Kama hawako shule lazima tu washughulikie wafanye jambo wasisahau na kushika kalamu na kitabu Katika hiyo center tuko na shamba Kwa shamba, tukona greens, tukona skuma, tukona nyanya, tukona spinach. Watoto sana sana kama wenye wameanza kukura wakiwa na six months, wanastahiri kukura proteins sana. Sasa tunawawekea hizo spinach kwa chakula yao, unaponda pamoja, anakura. Uyo mtoto anakuanga health sana. Tena tukona library. Kwa library tukona story books, marking pencils. Kila aina ya nini ndio tunatumianga wakifanya homework. My name is Ahana Nyambura or Mama Njoki. Ni nafanya kazi hapa as a mommy. Nafanya nafanya kazi na watoto kwa kwa le, kuangalia kuwavalisha kuwaosha kuwapa chakula na kucheza nao i have been working here for one and one year one month um na nimeona si kubaya me interact na watoto nimeona kuko kuzuri My name is Wamaitha Mwangi and I am the founder at Angel Center for Abandoned Children. I named it Angel Center because first my original name was rejected. <laughs> um, but you know it's it, it you know it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, these children, you know, are angels. I know it sounds cheesy, but they really are. So that's why I chose the name Angel Center. The idea to start Angel Center wasn't actually an idea, it was a passion. It's always been a passion that I've had. I love children. So I figured that I'd like to work with children. Uh, so I originally worked with children at a Montessori school, but I didn't feel, you know, they, they, are, they are okay, they are cared for and everything. I felt that I needed to work with children that you know, destitute, you know, destitute children, children that need help. So that's why I started the home. Angel Center started in Limuru in a one bedroom house, uh, apartment uh, in Limuru town. And at the time we had three children. We had a toddler, a one year old toddler, and we had three newborns. And at the moment, at the time I was I just, we were just two staff, myself and a volunteer, a neighbor of mine. So she would do the day shift and I'd do the night shift. And it was like that for about five months. Then we started getting more children. 
and so I started uh, initially the staff were all volunteers we started paying the staff around 2012 you know two years later we did not have anything when we started so yeah right now we have 20 staff paid staff yeah so we started in Limuru and then we moved to a bigger house still in Limuru in 2000 the same year 2010 and then eventually a lady found us where we are the home where we are we are still renting in Waidaka. It, it's much warmer because the children were not thriving in Limuru. Um, it's a very cold place, so they were not thriving, so we moved to Waidaka, where we are right now. The biggest challenge has always been financial. You know, I when I started the home, I used all my savings, um, and we don't have donors. Getting donors is very hard because there are some donors that want to support homes that have been established that have been running more than 10 years and you see at the time we had not been we had not we had not you know we were new others did not support us because of the numbers of the, the number of the children they wanted more children so the challenges that we've had the biggest challenge has been financial another challenge that we've had is health insurance uh, for when the children get sick and all of that educating the children has also been a bit of a challenge for us you know trying to find their school fees trying to get them into schools and all of that do not take uh, children that are survivors you know in terms of social abuse i mean child abuse because we because first we only take strictly abandoned babies uh two years and under and also we don't have the structure for that we don't have the staff my staff is not trained to take in abused children so bringing them to the home wouldn't help them yeah it would probably even make it worse for them because we, we are not trained so we get the children into homes through adoption and we work with an adoption agency so if a couple would like to adopt they'd have to go to the adoption agency first and then they get vetted and then the adoption agency will because their children when the children have been cleared for adoption by the magistrate we take their files to the adoption agency. What is the hardest part about raising someone else's child? Um, it's, it's not hard. You, you, um, you, you, you can either do it or you can't. You either have the heart for it or you can't. It's, it's not hard at all yeah. for me. <laughs> Linata Yukosmini. I'm a director at Angel Center. I assist in fundraising and the projects they run to sustain the home. We are almost 10 years. We mainly uh, depend on well wishes. Uh, we've been running our campaigns on Instagram or Facebook or WhatsApp. That's how we get the donations to sustain the home. We get a few people to plug in to cater for certain bills, like friends come together and decide to this month they'll pay for the water, they can support school fees, or uh, what else? I mean, there's a group that decided to take up rent for 10 months, so that's the way we run the home. Fundraising is, is quite tricky. Number one, people want to give in kind. People will not give uh, cash. Or they would rather pay for something directly. Sometimes we have to actually, the easiest way for us is we ask people to pay directly to the school so that it doesn't look like it's coming to us. People find it easier to plug in that way. So if it's school fees, we tell you the, the school fees bank account. If it's uh, the rent, we tell you the our landlord's account, I mean, then we are left with that, even in the, the hospital bills, because we don't have a medical cover. So we tell people, if a child falls sick, we will just post it on Facebook. People pay to the hospital direct, or they agree to M-Pesa. Um, ideally, we wish we had donors, so that we are able to own our own home, because the space we currently have is rented. Um, to be able to pay medical bills, to be able to take all the kids to school, um, to be able to pay our nannies. If people would just plug in directly, it would help sustain some of the little bills we have. Because ideally food, 
food and non-food stuff people bring so we can't complain even clothes like there's a point we we're saying this year we have enough clothes for the year we just need either food or help us sort us the bill so it's normally a challenge and then also people want to plug in to specific projects in the home is it the greenhouse is it farming yet there's also another pressing need that we are not able to address so that's left to us to figure out how to fund or pay such bills so ideally most of the time is we just we just run drive and we hope people plug in but next year we want to try different things we see how much which we can do Hi, I'm Kavisa Katiku. I'm the founder of Requatio, a charity that aims to help Angel Center with everything that they need. I volunteer here at Angel Center. I take care of the kids, I help in the farm, I help with the clothes and washing of the clothes. I found out about Angel Center about two years ago when I was trying to start my charity and my mom was trying to help me figure out where I could start. I was introduced to Wamaitha, who's the founder of Angel Center, and from then on I started coming. I tried to come very frequently, however I was in school, so I was focusing on exams as well. But when I came, I would help and play with the kids. I'd bring f food, I'd bring toys, pencils, books, anything I could. I intend on releasing a three-part book with a Christmas album, a documentary, and the stories of the beautiful children in Angel Center in 2019. What makes me so happy is to Stay with the children. Yani wana nitia moyo kwa sababu hawa watoto hawana wa kuangalia. Sasa sisi ndio mummies. Sisi ndio kama mama mama yao. Sisi ndio wana look up to. Ku nini kuwa feed, kuwa osha sababu kama atuko it will be other story. Sasa napenda kukaa nao sababu nawapenda. I love them. I love being with them. <laughs> Especially even those two small <laughs> the most beautiful part about the journey is making a difference. So, ideally, being able to bless someone who doesn't have what you have, um, giving back, seeing it, uh, doing something for them, seeing the kids grow, seeing the kids go to school, I mean, the joy on their faces. Giving back I mean, is the best part of it and just the joy out of the kids. Our biggest achievement I'd say is having healthy children. It's, it seems simple but it's not. Having a healthy child is, is and especially in the situation that they are because they're in an institution, having them healthy is 100% success for us. This summer we hope to see you here at Angel Center to come and support the kids and support the launch of the new book. For more information on the book and the launch of the book and where you can find it, please follow Crevet Moulier on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>